And I've been in a certain situation like that to where, you know, they, some people shot at us, you know, shot at me and my brother um, and all of us, and none of us game bang. They say he one of them ghetto boys in the bushwick. That's a mentality that keep niggas sick. Come on, dog. You think you're a pit? You meant to grow here, and that's what you pick? Don't worry about me, nigga. See, that is your problem. You always run to your mouth. Remember when mom had that electric problem? Did she help her out? Do I die, nigga? Do we die, nigga? Cause he died, nigga? Debo died, and you could've been with him if you didn't make it out that job by. Remember when you. What it do? It's your boy Chimba the Gentleman. We back with another video. Oh, oh, let's go. Whoa, hey. My nigga. <laughs> man, you already know what time it is, man. <laughs> Shout outs to Kev Mac. We watching another one of Kev Mac videos. You know, uh, they call me Slippin' in the Hood. 1991 story, man. Um. Let's get to it. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you what? follow me on Instagram and all that, man. You know what time it is. Time to get to this video. <laughs> you dig? What up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of KM Videos. True story. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of KM Videos. True story. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. Ooh. Another one. This is the best. Wait a minute. Welcome to another episode. <laughs> He just took his voice and made it a song all year. <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome to another episode. 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 Up in the hills, 60th Street. Kind of figured because he got a Crenshaw sweater on with an S hat. If you didn't know he was 60s just off that, then. <laughs> and Keniston Avenue. This was one of the main blocks right here, Keniston and 60th. And a lot of shit went down on this block. From the big games, the fights, shootouts. And I got a lot of stories about the street. Uh, some good days, some bad days, but this is the main block. We all hung out, we had the big games at town and uh, and uh, it cracked. It cracked from morning to night, sometime after midnight. This is when we were still having big dice games, and this particular day, I wake up in the morning, probably late morning, early afternoon, and I want to go gamble. I want to go to the homie's cow's house and gamble. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Gamble. I want to go to... Ken Mac, I know you ain't put your, <laughs> put your street on there, man. <laughs> ain't no way, boy. <laughs> you ain't wanna... Oh, that's probably where you used to live. Because ain't no way I'm about to put my house on there, boy. <laughs> to the homie's cow's house and gamble. Money's money was good back then. It was it was real plentiful. Oh, is he talking about him? Wait, did it? Did it say Ken Mac House? Yeah, Ken Wallet, man. And gamble. Money's money was good back then. It was it was real plentiful. Everybody had it, you know, and everybody was trying to get at it. That's when I got the silver rag 5.0. I jump in the car. Bust a, go down the street, bust a left on 57, go down Kennison, I cross Slauson, over to the... You know, yeah, L.A. nigga, when he say, I uh, bust a left on... <laughs> hey. 60s. I get to 60th Street, and I see a bunch of cars. It's, this is not ordinary. Bunch of cars on 60th. I turn down Kennison, bunch of cars on both sides of the street. Cars in the town's driveway, so there's nowhere for me to park. Crap games up in the hills. You know, it's legendary. 
uh, you would think it was a dice game because it's always dice games. We did it big, man. It was it was an everyday thing, man. You know, you know, it was either you be there or be square. You know. So I turn around and I go park on 60th Street. Not a great place to park. A lot of cars are there. You know, it's kind of a fast street. Not a lot of traffic, but fast traffic. And sometimes you, you might get your car hit, get your, your mirrors clipped or That's something. That's crazy. Especially getting up out the car. So I end up parking on 60th Street. And then I go take One a thing walk. I like, though, is that, um, that he put visuals, imagery to this thing. He ain't just letting them talk about it. You put your image to it. He actually showing you. Down Kennison, heading towards Cal's house. As I approach Cal's house, I'm now in the front yard of his property, but I'm still on the sidewalk. And there's cars in the driveway. Killer Day's Maxima is parked all the way near or on the sidewalk in the driveway. Mm -hmm. So as I'm approaching the driveway, I see this old Cutlass, like a 1984 door Cutlass coming. And I see him throwing up blue rags and this hats. So these got to be the homies, right? But during this time, we got some beef going on in the hood. We got beef with a particular set from another city. Mm. Another crib set. I'm not going to name that, that set. I should have known right there something was wrong because they too far to be doing all that. Like, who does that yeah. at a distance? As I'm strolling down the street, tires squelching as they turn the corner. Oh, man. They bust their left on 60 if they're coming towards me. And they're coming kind of fast. And then they slow down. I'm G'd up. I feel like I'm G'd up. No, I'm not G'd in like no penalty or nothing like that. Mm. Ain't got no blue rag hanging out my back pocket, nothing like that. But I got that bright S hat on. I got a blue belt. I got the T-shirt. I got the regular tie, mm. the khakis, the blue strings. Oh, yeah. And these dudes are right up on me. They got on S hats and they give it up. What's up, cuz? What that 60 like? And boom, I give it up. Natural instinct, six fingers. Then I throw up the chunky end. And the passenger in the front seat starts getting off on me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, because it's like, unless it's your homies, bro. That's why being in the gang, you got to know every last one of your homies and who was put on. Because if they knew that, they would have knew it. What you mean? Like, nigga, who is you? You know what I'm saying? And nigga, how you say with that, like, or you know what I'm saying? Or something should have clicked, like, nigga, we don't even say that. Who is this niggas? You know what I'm saying? Like, we keep going. These dudes are in the middle of the street, and I'm right there on the sidewalk. So they right up on me. They might be 10, 12 feet away from me, man. They right there on me. And they got me. And they got me on the draw. I don't even have a pistol on me. So they got me for sure. And I died to the ground. I'm like, damn, I've been duped. They got me. I, as I'm on the ground, I'm seeing dirt and grass flying up. Because mm. the shooter is hitting the ground. And then the dude in the back on the passenger side, he, he rises and get out the window. Boom, boom, boom. He's dumping on me. And I feel like I'm hit. So I'm not scared of the shooting. I'm scared that I'm hit somewhere, a vital spot, and don't know it yet. Mm. As the smoke clears, I look around, and these dudes are shot out the house windows and shot out the car windows, sneaky killer days back window with Maximus shot out. And that's right where I was standing at the time. Mm. And dove to the ground, and I dove to the front yard, so the the windows that shot out are above me. Good thing I dove to the ground. Good thing they was bad shots. After Man. they finished busting, they go south down Keniston. Hold on, before you keep talking. Shoot, y'all better be glad niggas never trained, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if niggas was trained shooters, 
it wouldn't be a lot of shots. It'll probably be like five at the most, four. And it'd be head shots. It wouldn't even be body shots. Like, this shit, they grew up just getting a gun, not even knowing how to use it. So they'll just go, you know what I'm saying? But if they was trained, oh, Lord. I mean, some civilians might have not been killed, but, hey, man. And usually that's how it went. Like, every time I seen a shooting on Kennison, they didn't want to go the short way. They always went the long way toward Inglewood. That's not the greatest move because there's plenty of time to get shot and get chased down. But then it's a smart move because once you're going toward Inglewood, we're going to think it's the Sinella Park families. Mm -hmm. Or possibly Inglewood family. It could be anybody at that point. Plus, they could turn down 64th. So, again, we're going to think it's the 6 4 Sentinella Park families, or, mm -hmm. you know, somebody over that way could be in the hood. They could be turning the goat toward the hood. You just never know. So, I never found out who it was, but I've always been grateful that they couldn't shoot straight. Right. So, I'm thinking I'm hit. I like crawl, and I'm like, Kind of like, and, and I've been in a certain situation like that to where you know they some people shot at us, you know, shot at me and my brother, um, and all of us, and none of us game bang, you know what I'm saying? Just a, a night out, having fun, playing music after a party, and you know, we supposed to go home after a party. These niggas, man, you know, when the girls get into their brain, I'm more of a nigga, let's go type nigga. They more, oh, let's get a little girl before. So we playing music. I'll tell y'all the story if y'all want to know later or whatnot. But y'all let me know. It was a crazy story. It was a drive-by story for sure. Almost like I done blacked out woke up, right? I didn't black out, but that's what it felt like. And I go around the cars and to the backyard, and the homies coming out the backyard. I had this pager on me. And that's why I thought I was hit. The pager done broke and done clipped my side. Mm. So I got a little breakage of the skin on my side. But uh, the homie laughed and cried, oh, you ain't hit, man. Oh, you ain't hit. <laughs> and but, I already know because LA niggas going to do that for sure. <laughs> they don't care, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga, black people in general is going to make fun of niggas. Like, it is crazy. But nigga, you could get a shot in your leg. As long as you're okay. They about to grill you, nigga. Oh, lippy leg nigga, boy. <laughs> like, they do not care, bro. It's crazy. I thought I was gone. And nobody came out that backyard and got off back. They didn't catch him down the street. None of that shit. But uh, homie seemed a little concerned. But at the same time, one of the vultures, one of those scandalous broke homies or jealous homies, then pick my pager up. Then stole my pager. So I never found my pager. I'm like, what uh, type of shit is that? <laughs> so I'm like, all right, y'all can have that. Y'all got that for the night. You better hope some smokers call. Because tomorrow, <laughs> the number's going to be off. I'm going to have my, a new page. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Page was worth for a little bit. So I had to go get that number back. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, the homies kind of clown me thinking I got shot. But that was a close call. Right. This was a really, really close call. Just another day in the hood. Trying to chase some money. Trying to hang out with the homies. And I almost got my cap peeled. But that's going to do it for this episode of KMV True Stories. Um, I did do this story before in animation. Probably a lot shorter. Um, so you can always go check that out. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the like button. You can leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Get on board, man. We got a lot of stories. We do a lot of live streams on this channel. And if you're into the history... Wait a minute. So this is Cam Mac? I'm wildin'? Hold on now. Cam Mac, this you? I mean, I ain't never seen Cam Mac, so y'all better ain't trying to come get me, my nigga. We're gang banging in Los Angeles. Check out Cam Mac videos with the blue logo. My nigga, this Cam Mac. Nigga, I did not know this was Cam Mac the whole time, bro. What's going on? So we got the black channel, we got the blue channel. I'm out of here, y'all. Salute. Shout out to Cam Mac, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is great storytelling, man. Um, about a life situation. 
And it's not just to tell y'all the story, it's to make y'all aware, man. You know, some of y'all young dudes think, oh, yeah, we gonna, like, niggas is dying about this, man. This is serious, man. But uh, make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that, man. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Kev Mac, all that, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube. Subscribe. Like the videos, man. And now I'm out. <laughs> Figured out she was playing board games on my chest. I feel sorry, sight. I don't care if she was in trouble, pipe. Saying yes, yeah, she let a tan. Lying said she let a man. Her name should be Spider because she let a win. Had me guessing from the top of my dome like headbands. Everything was really good. I thought we really had a plan.